I'm Austin Rodriguez. And I'm Tony and Roy. Coming up on today's show is... Student safety. And the Fab Lab. Make sure you stay tuned, because these are some very interesting topics. Let's get into this exciting show. We really just got caught up in our phones. We didn't even know this was on. This brings up the important topic about student safety and the importance of being aware of your surroundings. Here's Anna with our next segment. Hey Jags! Do you know what's going on in our community? Have you watched the news lately? It's important to stay aware of our surroundings. For those of you who watch the news every day, you might already know what happened recently. Just on January 3rd, 2018, 11-year-old DSA student Jasmine White was hit by a train and instantly killed. It was around 4.45 when Jasmine was walking from Carmelita's food market in Haines City, Florida. She was crossing the woods, aiming to cross the tracks. When crossing the railroad, the train was coming. She, however, couldn't hear it, the train, because she had earphones on. Another accident that happened recently was when a drunk retired officer hit five Dundee students, killing one of them. It was only last year when the students were walking home from the bus in Point Siena when they were attacked. The poor kid, J.M. Robertson, with the age of 13, died from injuries at 9.30 a.m. at Arnold's Hospital for Children in Orlando. Officer Grady Judd said, These kids weren't in the road. They weren't misbehaving. They weren't cut up. They were just being normal middle school kids. It really was a tragedy what happened that day. A lot of bad events can happen in a day. A lot of good events, too. That's why it's important to know what's going on in our society. I also stay prepared of what could go on. For safety should always be a principle in our lives. To go on, have Officer Garrison to explain us more thoroughly the importance of staying informed and the importance of safety. So, Officer Garrison, what are some basic things you can do every day to stay safe? Well, you can make sure that you pay attention to your surroundings. Make sure that you're aware of the vehicles that are coming. Make sure that you use the crosswalks when you cross the street. Um, make sure that that the vehicles that are around in your area that they see you because people don't pay attention. Okay. As an officer, what are the most recent accidents you see that happens to kids? Well, the most recent thing that I've that I've seen is um, a little girl walking on the railroad tracks and she has her headset in and she's not paying attention and the train she didn't hear the train coming up behind her. So you would say that paying attention to what's around you is the most important thing of staying safe? Paying attention. Paying attention to what's around you is very important. Yes, it is. Here at DDA, we encourage our students to stay informed with the latest news. A great way to do that is our ITV program every morning. Well, that was it for me today. In the meanwhile, stay alert and stay safe. See you later, Jags! Did you know that 60% of all households have a pet? Did you know that 6.5 million dogs and cats enter U.S. animal shelters each year? Did you know of the 6.5 million pets in shelters, only 20% are adopted? Did you know that most stray animals were family pets that have no tags or microchip and were not properly kept indoors? Did you know that less than 2% of cats and 18% of dogs are returned to their owners? Did you know that 50% of the United States pets do not receive the proper veterinary care from their owners? Did you know that you can adopt a dog or cat from the Polk County Animal Control Shelter for only $40 to $70? Donate new or gently used towels, blankets, or bed sheets to the instructional television program Towel Drive. All donations will be given to the Polk County Animal Control Shelter. Today's lunch menu. Do you know our school has a fabrication lab? Yeah, and they also utilize STEM. Coming up in our next segment is about STEM and our fabrication lab. I'm Oscar Rodriguez, and I'm here to talk to you about STEM and how Dan Jenkins has integrated our school with our fabrication lab. STEM wants students to utilize these subjects more to help them become our generation's engineers, scientists, and have other careers that will help benefit them and many others. 
So STEM merges all four of these disciplines into one. And our Fab Lab is a class for that. Here's Mr. Bastido, the instructor of the Fabrication Lab, to help give you more information about his class. I'm Mr. Bastido, and this is our Fabrication Lab. A Fabrication Lab is where students use 21st century equipment to design and create products for teachers, businesses, and themselves that have 21st century applications. And to deepen your perspective, here are students from the Fabrication Lab to help you get a better understanding of how science, technology, engineering, and math is being utilized in their classroom. Hey Jags, I'm Rachel in the Fabrication Lab. We use the 3D printer to create cells, DNA models, and the chemicals using the Cura software. Hi, I am Guillaume. This is the Fabrication Lab. We use many different types of technology. For example, this computer is just on our and you guys for your own cool projects. We use Chopper 3 and VCarve to do all this super cool stuff. I'm Logan, a student in the Fabrication Lab. In the Fab Lab, we use math all the time for our daily projects. We have to use the X, Y, and Z axis to control the length, width, and the thickness of our multiple scale project. I'm Trinity, and in the Fab Lab, we create VEX robots, and we program them to go up the ramp and out the door. And if you don't have a fabrication lab, DJ has incorporated STEM into all of our classes from band to instructional television. Visit the Down Jeans website to learn more about how our school utilizes STEM. Good, Good morning, Daniel, Daniel Jenkins. Jenkins. Welcome back to News at Nine. I'm Kendall, and that's Trinity. And today we have a very important topic to talk about. Helping hands. Helping hands is the help of all. Here are some clips of people using helping hands. If you see someone doing something wrong, tell them and help them fix their mistakes. You should always help whoever needs help, no matter what type of race, gender, or social status. There is always a good outcome when you help someone out, so make the right choice and help out. Wow, our show was very educational today. We learned about student safety, the Mandela Effect, and how we use our fabrication lab. See you later, Jags. Bye! Bye.